Hundreds of chemical compounds are released into the air every day. Some of these chemical compounds are known as air pollutants because they impact human health and the environment. And others are known as greenhouse gases because they help warm the planet. Let's look at the different kinds of greenhouse gases and air pollutants that impact us most. Greenhouse gases are chemical compounds that act like a blanket around the Earth, trapping heat that radiates from our planet. This heat is created by energy from the sun. Greenhouse gases are critical to human survival. Without them, Earth would be too cold for humans to live. Human activities, especially the intense use of fossil fuels, have resulted in the release of too many greenhouse gases, causing a rise in global temperature and disruptions to our climate. These disruptions include increased and more severe droughts and storms. The primary greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane, CH4. Because greenhouse gases mix evenly throughout the atmosphere, they have a global impact. This is why a reduction in greenhouse gases anywhere is a benefit everywhere. California has a series of statewide programs in place to cut greenhouse gas emissions by at least 40% by 2030 with much deeper cuts in emissions by 2045. The effects of some air pollution can be seen at a regional level. Air pollutants undergo chemical reactions after they are released into the atmosphere, resulting in smog or regional haze. Because the chemical reactions that form smog happen over the course of a day or more, smog tends to be spread out over a specific region. Mountains and winds can keep smog trapped in an area like Los Angeles or the Central Valley for days at a time. For that region, reducing smog means addressing sources found across the affected region, such as cars, trucks, and factories. Some air pollutants are local and toxic, meaning they have the potential to impact our health at the community level and directly when we breathe them. Benzene from gasoline and fine particle pollution from diesel exhaust are examples. Exposure to these pollutants can change dramatically depending on how far you are from the source and how long you breathe them. Since levels can vary from one block to another, community scale measurements or emissions monitoring are used to estimate potential impacts. This variation also makes it challenging to reduce emissions of these pollutants and there is no one-size-fits-all strategy for every community. To address this challenge, California implements air protection programs, including both the Community Air Protection and Hotspots programs, to protect air quality and reduce exposure to and emissions of air pollution on a local scale. Reducing greenhouse gas and air pollutant emissions and reducing exposure to air pollutants is the goal of the California Air Resources Board and the state's 35 air districts.